welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is maria so today i'm going to be cleaning my hole downstairs and to go along with fall of course i have to get the mrs myers fall scents and i got them in acorn spice and to me these scents smell amazing it makes my whole house smell well to me it smells like pumpkin pie and i am also so excited to tell you guys that i am going to be doing this as a collaboration with some amazing youtube moms that i know here and i also know them over on instagram so make sure that you guys go check out my description i will leave everything there for you guys and let them know that i sent you guys over after you guys are done watching my video so also to go along with my cleaning video i'm going to be decorating a little bit for fall and if you guys aren't ready make sure you guys go and grab your cup of coffee your cup of tea and let's get into our video I'm here smelling my Mrs. Myers fall scents and it just smells so good. It made my kitchen smell like I was baking a pumpkin pie. So I just wanted to keep cleaning so that my whole house smelled amazing. And if you guys haven't checked out Mrs. Myers online, go check them out. They have some amazing scents. You guys will not be disappointed. I decided to write on my letter board, fall is my second favorite F word, food is my first, and all the little decoration around it I did get from the Dollar Tree. And also this glass jar is a thrift store find, and I thought it was so cute, and it was only $3. I'm a 
when it comes to decorating for little seasons like fall or valentine's i like going to the dollar tree and getting like signs like this because i don't like to spend a lot only like on christmas decorations i will spend but little things like this i love going to the dollar tree because they have some awesome signs and little things to just make your house feel like whatever season you're going to be decorating for. Here I'm using my stainless steel cleaner from Method and I found these cute hand towels at Ross for $3.99 and it was for the pack of both. Been on the streets a few months I'm trying to pick myself up I had put the little tiny pumpkins inside of the vase but I didn't like how they looked so I went to get a couple of the flowers that I had in my front vase and this yard stick I found it at the Dollar Tree and I love how that came out it made my table just look like it was fall without having to put so much stuff and the napkin holder is actually from Ross I found it there and it was the only one and it was $3.99 so again you don't have to spend a lot to decorate for something. This sign here I did do myself and it only came out to $4 so if you guys are interested I will have that video up for you guys tomorrow. Look at how dirty my kitchen floor is and it was actually like this everywhere but I didn't zoom in to show you guys everything, the whole floor but yeah it was bad. It really needed to be mopped. <laughs> Pretty soon it's going to be getting cold and I am going to be transforming my coffee bar into a hot cocoa bar and if you guys want to see that I will be happy to make a video for you guys just make sure to comment on the videos below to let me know that you guys actually want to see that.
Sing to your heart to find you Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lies So you can see what you do Christmas every time we start And of course, since Andrew came, I had to get his help. There was a ball under this pink chair, so I told him to take it out and go put it back in the playroom. And that's just what he's going to be doing now. On my fireplace, I didn't really do that much. All I did was add in the little small pumpkins and the give thanks sign. And on my vase, my glass vases, I put in those foam Dollar Tree pumpkins. And that is for my fireplace. Don't you know, I fell for fools, gold, I fell for fools, gold, what did I know? What did I know? This basket, I have been wanting to write something on it. I did get it at Hobby Lobby when they were having their 75% sale. And they actually just sent me these stencils. They are such really nice handwriting that I wanted to try them out on my basket. And so it's so easy to be used. All you have to do is write on it with the paint and then just rinse them off because since they are plastic. So that's just what I'm going to be doing right now. And I thought that this was so cute because I've seen baskets that have something written on them, but they are so expensive, so I decided to do it myself. Fools, gold, what did I know? What did I know? I fell for fools, gold, I fell for fools, fools, gold, what did I know? What did I know? And you are fools, gold! Oh my god! So a couple days ago, I added this curtain because of the other one that I had ripped. And it still kind of looks a little bit farmhouse, but with a little bit of a shiny little touch on it. And this is what I wrote on my basket, nice butt. And if you guys have seen my other videos, you guys will see that this was already on here. This towel, best things in life aren't things. And these two little orange things, bless the family besides us and the love between us. And the little pumpkin is just a Halloween pumpkin that I turned around and it just shows the orange pumpkin through the front and now i'm going to start cleaning my laundry room
themes that I have here on my front entry are actually from the Dollar Tree, like that scarecrow right in the middle of the mirrors and the two blue trucks on the sides. The cotton stems and the sunflowers were actually from the Dollar Tree. Those were awesome for me to find because I would never have thought that the sunflowers I would have been able to find at the Dollar Tree, especially with that big size that they are and the thankful sign. And I just love how my front entry table looks. And let's not forget my little white pumpkins. I got them at the Dollar Tree. So, of course, I love decorating with Dollar Tree finds. This huge round mirror my friend actually gave it to me and she knows that I have a YouTube channel. She knew I was going to do something awesome with it. So I'm going to be filming and painting it and one of these things on my future videos you guys will see it here on this wall. But for now I'm going to be painting some more. So this is how I left my front entry table and the playroom I didn't really do that much other than at these cute pillows that I found at Ross and this one here says pumpkin spice and everything nice and this one over here says happy fall y'all and I also got this other cute little tiny pillow that says bless on the other couch but other than that I didn't add anything for fall in this playroom and guys don't forget to go check out my youtube moms the collaboration that, that i did with them they are going to be a group of ladies so don't forget to go check them out and let them know that i sent you guys and thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next one bye guys